Warriors, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today I am going to be answering some of your questions. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video where I asked you to tell me some of your biggest skating struggles, and I have gotten several hundred comments back. Thank you so much for sharing with me what you're struggling with out on the ice. I'm going to hopefully answer some of those for you today. So in looking at all of those comments, I found a couple significant themes, and one of those themes is a a lot of you guys are finding you're going up onto your toe pick during your one foot spins. So many of you are struggling with that. And so we're gonna address that today. Now, I have a tutorial on how to do a one foot spin. So if you have not followed that yet, I want you to go back and learn how to do a one foot spin through my tutorial. And I'll post a link to that video in the description down below so you can brush up on that skill. But if you're working on that one foot spin and going up on your toe pick, this video is going to be for you. So we have a few exercises we're going to go through today. So the first one is doing one foot glides. Now I spin counterclockwise and my one foot spins usually happen on my left leg. The back spins will happen on my right leg, but we're doing forward one foot spins. So I am gonna be doing these exercises thinking about spinning on my left leg specifically. So the first thing we're gonna do is work on some one foot glides, feeling the ball of the foot or the center of the foot pushing down into the ice. So I'm gonna take a couple steps forward, get myself some momentum. I'm gonna plant my weight squarely in the middle of that left foot, and then I'm gonna go into a one foot spin position with the rest of my body. Now, when you spin, I know the rocker is up towards the front, but when you're just learning to spin, it's so hard to stay on that rocker and not pop up onto that toe pick. So I actually want you to think about spinning more in the middle of your skate. As your spins improve, you can get more up on that rocker, but it's okay to start by thinking about spinning right kind of in the middle of your skate, just behind the rocker, okay? You might not spin as fast, but you're gonna be more stable. And as the stability comes, then we can move forward to the rocker. Okay, so we're gonna do that again. So we're gonna get a little bit of speed. Doesn't matter if you go forward or backward. We're gonna get up onto that one foot and bring your hands in as if you're doing a spin. And I want you to try to find that position right in the center of your foot. So we're gonna do that one more time. Get a little bit of speed, plant your weight down, like push into the ice. And you're not just standing here, I want you to think about pushing your weight down into the center of your foot. Okay? All right, so that one's pretty simple. I know it might sound a little strange that I'm not telling you to try to glide on your rocker, but again, the rocker can be so hard to control as you're developing those muscles in your foot and your calf that for now, we're gonna just move back a tiny bit right behind the rocker. Okay, so that is your first exercise, some simple one foot glides, trying to find the position in your foot right behind your rocker. For exercise number two, we're going to be using a curling circle. We're going to be traveling backward on that circle on our inside edge. When you're spinning, you are on a back inside edge. That might sound revolutionary to some of you, but it's true. You're starting on your forward outside on the entrance, and then you move to that back inside as you spin. So when we practice this, we're going to be on that backward inside edge. So I'm going to give myself a couple of pumps. I'm gonna stand on that left leg, cause that's my spinning leg. I'm gonna lift my right leg up and then cross those hands. And as I do that, I want everything lined up on my spinning side, okay? So as you cross your hands, you don't want them on the inside cause that's gonna pull away from your spin. You're spinning counterclockwise or I will be spinning counterclockwise. So if my arms go to my right side, it's like I'm resisting the spin. If you can imagine spinning, and going, no, like I'm pulling away from the spin, right? So you want those hands over on the left as if you're pushing into the spin, okay? So on this circle, when we do our exercise, we're gonna be doing that same thing. The hands are gonna travel over to the left. So everything is lined up on that left side. You're gonna keep those hips tucked under, keep your core engaged. 
You want to think about the front of your body being flat and your back being tilted slightly forward. So your back is not super straight where you're going to be leaning backward. Your core is straight where you're slightly forward. Okay. So it's hips under core slightly forward. Okay. So what we're trying to do is mimic our spin position on this circle on that inside edge. And again, since the struggle is hitting that toe pick, I want you as you do this to be thinking about standing just behind the rocker. Okay. So if you're going up on your toe, uh, there could be a couple of problems. There could be a couple of reasons you're hitting your toe pick on this. If you're leaning too far forward, that's going to pitch your weight up onto your toe picks. So I do want you slightly forward on this spin, but it ha your shoulders need to stay behind your toe picks. So if you feel your shoulders going in front of your toe picks, that's going to cause a problem for your spin. So keep those shoulders behind your toe picks, but in front of your heel. Okay. So you're kind of thinking, don't let your shoulders go behind your heels. Don't let them go in front of your toe picks. So they're, they're right over your hips. Okay. So that's one reason you could be hitting your toe pick on this exercise and your spin. The other reason is your foot tenses up. If your foot is tensing up and, and like kind of your toes clawing inside of your foot, that's going to make you pitch up on your toe picks as well. So relax those feet. I know that can be very difficult, but keep those feet relaxed and keep your shoulders over your hips. Okay. So you are going to work on this exercise until you can go all the way around the circle keeping control, not spinning out and not hitting your toe pick. Okay. So you're going to give yourself some good pushes, find that spin position, work on positioning your shoulders and your hips, those hips tucked under your shoulders, right over your hips and your foot relaxed. So you can go around the circle without going on your toe pick. This is going to give you really good strength and control for when you move this to your spin. For our third exercise today, we're going to travel forward. We're going to move through each of the positions of your spin entrance into your spin. Now this is very difficult. So if you come out and try it and it just is not working, don't get discouraged. Keep working at it. It takes a lot of fine tune muscle control. Okay. Which means if you can master it, you are going to have incredibly controlled spins. All right. So it's worth working through it really, you know, giving it your best and getting it to where you can actually do it with some control. Okay. So I'm going to move forward give myself a couple of pushes. Again, I do my forward spins on my left foot. So I'm going to start on my left foot. I'm going to start in my entrance position. So my left hand's out front. My right hand is to the side. My right leg is to the side. I'm then going to move to the side and then pull up into my spin. Okay. So I have three main positions, my entry, the beginning of my spin where I'm trying to get it centered and then pulling into my spin. Okay. Through that whole thing, you want to keep your foot grounded right behind the rocker. Okay. If you can do this on the rocker, kudos to you. It means you have been really working on, uh, building the muscles in your foot and in your calf. But this exercise is going to help you build those foot and calf muscles and control your core. All right. So let's try that again. So we're going to skate forward. We have our entrance position. We're going to get centered into our spin and we're going to pull in. All right. You want to keep those hips tucked under core controlled. You're trying to go to that position we just worked on, on the circle. Okay. So we're kind of combining a few different things here, the whole time focusing on a relaxed flat foot. All right, let's try that again. So we're going to give ourselves some speed entrance position. Center position, hips tucked under, core controlled, foot flat and calm. Pull in. All right. Entrance. Center, hips tucked under, core controlled. Pull in, keep that foot flat, 
relaxed and just behind the rocker. Okay, that's a really challenging little exercise, so practice it until it becomes a little bit easier for you, and hopefully that will help you stay off your toe pick in your spins. All right, skaters, I hope you find those one foot spin tips helpful. Remember, staying off that toe pick has a lot to do with controlling your calf muscle, controlling your foot and adding strength in your, your skating leg and your core. So practice those tips. And as always, I'm looking forward to seeing your videos on Instagram. So you can tag me at Skating Coach Julia. If you enjoyed this video, please do give us that thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell down in the corner so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.